Hi there. Welcome to Nagoya University. My name is Nip Dan. I'm the first year PhD student in the GRT program at the Department of Physics. And actually, I've been here for a while. I did both my undergraduate and my master here. Hey Duke, it's nice to meet you. Could you show me around the campus a little bit? Absolutely, come with me. So we are now in front of the Nobel Prize Memorial Exhibition Hall, which is at the heart of the physics department. And around this area, you can find most of the physics lab, as well as where you take the course and courses. So being in this research-rich environment really gives you the support to pursue research in later years. That's nice. What kind of topics can be researched here at Nagoya University's physics program? So our department conducts research in four main areas. And let me show you around. The first area is particle physics, where we try to explore the fundamental particles and forces that made up the universe. And the goal is to understand what these particles are made of and what physical law they are based. And our department is well known worldwide for many achievements, including the first direct observation of the tau neutrino, and especially the discovery of an origin of the broken symmetry that predicts the existence of three different families of quarks. Another exciting research area at our department is astrophysics and astronomy. When you look up the star, can you ever wonder how the universe began or how it might end? And that is exactly what we are exploring here. We use powerful observation techniques and simulations as well as some theories to better understand our universe. This is the ITBM building which stands for Institute of Transformative Biomolecules. So at our department, not only in animate things, we also research on living things and biological processes, and this is called biophysics. So biophysics group at our department look at tiny parts of the cells, like the DNA or the proteins, and see how they work together to perform life functions through the lens of physics. The last area of research is condensed matter physics, which is done mostly in this science hall building. So in this area, we study large collections of interacting atoms that make up materials, aiming to understand the behavior of different phases and predict their properties. And to achieve all of this goal, theorists like me and Sato Sans usually come and work closely with experimentalists like Azim. Hello, I am Azim John from Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Group. Uh, in our lab, uh, we use uh, NMR to study local magnetic fields in various materials. And when I'm stuck uh, in theoretical problem, I usually come discuss ideas with people like Duke-san and Sato-san. Hi, I am Sato from Quantum Transport Theory Group, ST Lab. My research is about topological materials at low temperature, like Ajun does at his experiment. So this kind of multifaceted approach is what really keeps us at the frontiers of research in physics and allows us to explore new emerging areas in physics as well. That's interesting. And what about you, Duke? Why did you choose to study physics here? Oh, for that, let me take you to my lab upstairs. The reasons to study at Nagoya University for me is very simple. The labs here are very well known for their research and the diverse things they offer to the students. And the best thing for me is the people here. My professors and my friends have always been very supportive and makes me feel like I can reach new heights in my research. And actually, I've been really enjoying doing research at my lab, the Non-Equilibrium Physics R group here at Nagoya University. My research focuses on these older materials like glasses, mayonnaise, sands and shells, and trying to understand their behavior using theories in condensed matter and numerical simulations. And recently, I also attempt to use this framework to understand dense living systems like cell collectives or bacterial colonies, hopefully try to contribute to our advancements in life science and medicine. Wow, so cool. How about this? What kind of career paths have G30 physics graduates taken? Oh, for that, let's ask my professor, Professor John. So this is Professor John. He taught me statistical physics and quantum mechanics. It's nice to meet you, Professor John. Thanks for letting us stop by. Could you tell us what kind of career paths students who graduate from the G30 physics program have had? Where have students gone after graduating from the G30 physics program? Well, one student did a master's at Oxford in theoretical physics, um, and, and actually uh, he thought that physics wasn't, as, uh, wasn't what he really wanted to do, so now he's uh, in a, at, working at a finance institution. Another guy is doing a part, uh, theoretical physics PhD uh, at Stony Brook in particle physics. Another has started a condensed matter physics uh, PhD at University of Texas at Austin. Um, another has uh, just this year uh, entered uh, one of the top, top 
laboratories in condensed matter physics, experimental laboratories in, ex in condensed matter physics in the world. Another has, um, uh, well, also after finishing a PhD in Toronto, uh, has um, decided, okay, he's going to get into the real world, and he's now a sports scientist for the Toronto National ba American National Basketball League. So, um, uh, students who graduate from physics at Nagoya University um, end up in all sorts of places. So that's the wrap on our tour of the Department of Physics at Nagoya University. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in joining the Nagoya University Shirati Inter International Program, you can find all the information on the Shirati Admission Office website. And we would love to welcome you here in Nagoya. So with that, stay safe and take care.